Okay. Playing England at Wembley. Obviously, England have had injury problems like yourselves. Not a great performance against Brazil last time out. Are you confident that you can come here and, um, and beat them? Yeah, like, we're going to try, of course. No, but of course, it's a good team. One of the favorites, I think, for the Euros. Um, but yeah, we prepared well for the game. I think um, we have all the tools to make it a great game, a competitive game. Um, so we're going to try our best to win a game, of course, because that's our mentality. Uh, when we go somewhere, we try to win the game, and um, we have the players for it. So, of course, it won't, it won't be easy, but we're going to try, of course. Carl Walker, one of the England injured players. Obviously, Kevin's not here for you guys. Have you been on the, the Man City player WhatsApp group? Are they both going to be OK for the weekend? Um, I didn't ask Kevin if he will be available for the weekend. Carl, I asked him uh, if everything's all right. He told me that yeah, he had something with the hamstring, but I don't know how long it will take. I just hope they will be all right for the game against uh, Arsenal, of course. Um, but no, I don't have more information about it. And while I've got you here, because everybody has had their say about that Alex McAllister challenge, apart from you, yeah. the referees say that it was the right decision. You obviously agree with that. Of course I agree with it. But no, it was a risky, it was a risky challenge. And I know I, had, I could have dealt with it differently. So uh, it was a risky challenge. I still believe it wasn't the penalty. But... I know that maybe some other referees would have given it, so uh, I'm just happy that they didn't give it because uh, <laughs> it would have put me in a difficult situation. <laughs> but no, so it wasn't a penalty, so I'm happy. Okay, yeah. thank you. Gentleman in the front row. Thank you. I was actually going to ask you exactly the same thing about that tackle. For a moment there, did you fear that it was going to be a penalty against you? And seeing it again on TV, what do you think? As I said, uh, for a moment I was thinking, because yeah, of course he's doubting, he's uh, looking at the VAR, so I was thinking, oh, so maybe they're seeing a penalty. For me, there was no penalty, but as I said, I can believe that some referees maybe would give given it, but uh, no, I still think for me it's not a penalty. But I can understand the people why they're angry and the Liverpool fans, why they think it should be a penalty, but I still believe it's not. Okay, uh, gentleman there, fourth row. Thanks for your time. Um, just wanted to ask, what's it been like playing um, alongside Phil Foden at, at Man City? And uh, do you think um, his role is slightly different to England? Do you think they maybe don't get the best out of him? How do you see it? Uh, honestly, before I came, I knew already that Phil was like like a top player. But playing with him is differently. You can all, then you see different qualities. And uh, very happy to play alongside him uh, at City. He's a very good player, a uh, very good person as well. Um, he can play in multiple positions, um, uh, and I think he's one, doing one of his best seasons already for, for City right now. Um, in England, I, I don't really watch a lot of games from England to to tell you how his uh, role is there, but I think, yeah, he plays there a lot on the wing. Um, he's doing also some good games with England because he's playing a lot there, uh, but I don't know what his role is there. I think they have a lot of belief in him. 